Cameramania, folks. Quick story time about cameraman's wedding day. <sighs> All right, let me just give you a rundown of what we're talking about here. We're talking about the summer of 93. It was about 92 degrees out, okay? Um, I had no business getting married, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm 23 years old. I'm a baby. I think 23 years old. I'm like, well, I was, I was an infant. And I also was about a year and a half into an FBI investigation that uh, me and the whole uh, wedding party was involved with on the male side, not the females. They were all good kids, but yeah, it was, uh, it was insane. Now, let me just tell you about the crowd at the wedding, okay? All the people that were there. We're talking about Corona and Queens, Flushing, that whole area, okay? And there was a lot of young guys, um, a lot of my wife's cousins, a lot of my friends were there, and it was uh, it was an event, and I'll get into the details of it. But let's just get to let's just get to stuntman. Stuntman's nowhere to be found. This is back before cell phones. Yo, where are you? Where are you? Yo, what the fuck? Oh, yo, and nowhere to be found. My wife screaming. If he doesn't show up, that motherfucker, I'm going to fucking go nuts. I'm going to kill him. I'm like, relax, relax. He'll show up. Relax. He comes stumbling into the house about 45 minutes before we're about to leave. Throws on the tux, fixes the hair, look like a million bucks. He's got a supermodel with him, Okay. No bullshit. Because I'm going to get... I'm going to go and I'm going to get stuff out of, uh, of the wedding video. And I'm going to post them. You, you're not going to... I mean, this girl was dancing around and, and, and people were stopping and taking pictures of her. They were with their camera. Like grown men, fucking 50, 60 years old. And running back to their tables. Their wives are slapping them. It was, it was out of control. No bullshit. Comes in, oh yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm like, you all right? Can you, can you even do this? He's like, come on, what are you kidding me? Long story short, he's out at some social club in Ridgewood, Queens, gambling. Okay, with my sister's ex-boyfriend, they must have went through forty, fifty thousand dollars gambling because they're sitting down. It what? Listen, the guy that owned the social club. Ended up killing somebody, killed a bouncer, stabbed him up, and took off to Italy. And, but this was before that all happened. And he came back and got locked up, and he ended up, I don't know how much time he got. But anyway, so he's in his social club with all these guys, and they're speaking Italian. And they're just hammering. Because this is before we knew that they had this little social club where they would scam people and talk Italian and, and, and you know, rip you off out of your money. But... Anyway, the guy, money to this guy was no was not a problem anyway. I, as my wedding went on, my sister just kept grabbing stacks of money from stuff. And my envelope was like this thick by the time the end of the night was over. But anyway, so Stuntman was out all night gambling at this place. And comes stumbling in. He's like, yeah, yeah, well, let's go, man. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Okay. So the limo ride there, the AC went out on the limo. It's a thousand degrees. Everybody's pouring sweat. We're dying. We're cursing out the limo driver ready to kill him. Meanwhile, he's just driving the car, calling up the company. You're fucking dead, blah, 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 blah. So, anyway, the wedding goes on. Beautiful wedding. Um, ceremony in the church. It was great. Um, we get to the, the venue. Beautiful place. Okay. Now... Back then, I would sleep till 12 o'clock. That was early. fact. you got me up before 12, I'd, ah, what the fuck are you doing? What are you, crazy? Uh, running the streets and trying to stay free because they were on our asses hard. And, um, yeah, so let me just give you a rundown on the people at the wedding. You have my friends. You have my wife's cousins from both sides. Now... There wasn't one pussy in this wedding, okay? 
Probably every guy in there put a bat over somebody's head at least once in their lives, okay? Some more than others, you know? And then you had my friends. You had a whole table of guys that were just out of their minds. And it was fun, though. We had a great time. Everybody was enjoying themselves. A couple of funny parts of the wedding. It's pouring out. So everybody's looking out the window. Oh, my God, look at this rain. Because it just came out of nowhere like a typhoon. And what do you see? Under a tree is my father and my uncle. They both just passed. May they rest in peace. Smoking a doob. <laughs> the whole wedding party's like, Oh, look, it's the groom's father smoking a joint. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, so now I got another funny thing with my father. So my father is... We have a, a videographer, all that crap, right? So my father's got a camcorder. So he's going to do his own little thing, you know, which was cool. And, but he's, you know, half in the fucking bag with whatever he was doing. And he comes up to one of the uncles and he goes, now he's got the camera. He's like, hey, there's uh, aunt this, uncle that. And he goes up to uncle somebody, whoa, I better get my wide angle lens. The guy was like very overweight. I'm like, no, man, did he just say that? But anyway, that, that was my father. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're, in, we're, we're as the wedding's going on, everybody's minding their business. Everybody's having a good time. Somebody's like, yo, they're in the parking lot, the bulls. They're taking pictures. People coming in and out, going to their cars, whatever. I'm like, what? Yeah, they were in the, the, the feds on a lot, taking photos. It was, it was, it was a live one, folks. It was a live one. Uh, so now, I would say about maybe, uh, Toward the very end of the wedding, I hear screaming. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Motherfucker, you want to fucking fight at my fucking wedding, motherfucker? I'm like, oh shit, that's my wife. My wife for five hours. I'm like, holy fuck. So I go over, yo, yo, what, what the fuck's going on? These motherfuckers are to fight. I go, Who, who's fucking fighting? I go, what are you talking about? I see a whole crowd start spilling out to the parking lot. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I get my guys together. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So one of my friends goes, they're fighting. Best man, he goes, they're fighting at this fucking wedding. He goes, you want us to handle this now or, or at a later date? Let me know. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa just, just relax. I said, let me, let me see what the fuck's going on. So stunt man comes up to me. Gone. Okay, he's like, bye. He's got two steak knives in each hand. A steak knife in each hand. He goes, bro, just tell me, man. Just show me the guy you want me to kill, man. Just show me the guy. I'll kill that motherfucker right now. Just show me the... I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Put the knives down. I take them. I put them on the table. Relax, guys. Let's see what's going on. So now I see my father-in-law. I go, what's up? He grabs my hands. He goes, everything's okay. It's all, everything's calm. Because I'm starting to get heated. He goes, don't worry about it. Let me tell you about my father-in-law. He was a amateur fighter, okay? I think he had like 22 fights. Was going to go pro, but he was from the streets. He was a street kid. You know, his brothers were managing him. And long story short, he ended up doing three bids, okay? I think he did a, a seven, like a six, and like a, another seven after that. So one day I said to him, what the fuck happened? He goes, ah, he goes, I threw a guy off a bridge and he lived. He goes, I should have shot him in the head first. I'm like, what do you say? I go, yeah, you probably should have shot him in the head first, you know? I'm like, all right. So this is great guy, tough guy. And at the time he was still young, you know? His brothers are marching toward the door. So I got younger cousins. I got uncles. I got everybody marching toward the door. I'm like, what the fuck? So now I'm kind of getting mad because I'm kind of feeling a little disrespected. Like, what, what the fuck are you doing? So I go outside and there's a crowd on one side and a crowd on the other. I don't even know the fucking story. So I go over to one of my wife's cousins on one side. I go, what the fuck? He threw a napkin at my brother's head. What, what motherfucker? Fuck him. I go, what? And then the other side, yeah, fuck that. I go, yo, if anyone wants to fucking fight at this wedding, you fight me first. I said, it's as simple as that. That's how it's going right now. Or nobody's fighting. Everybody's looking like scratching their fucking heads like. And then one uncle's going, no, you don't, nobody fucks with us. Nobody. I go, let's all calm down. I said, like I said, if anybody's fighting, you're fighting me first. 
long story short, everyone calmed down. And I said, come on, guys. They're like, and everybody's hugging me because of you. We're not fighting, you know, because we're showing you respect. I said, yeah, well, you are outside right now. I mean, what the fuck? So calmed it down, squashed it. It was all good after that. But, um, yeah, man, we're talking about 1993, man. Insane. Everybody was going, this kid's getting married? Like, what? I used to lie to people and say I had a beeper company because one of my friends did have a beeper company. And uh, back then, if you were a doctor or a criminal, either one, you had a beeper. So, yeah, I had a beeper. We all had our beepers going off and this, that, and the other thing. And, yeah, I used to tell people I have a beeper company. And it was kind of easy because after that, they didn't really know what to ask you. Oh, okay. But no, I didn't have a beeper company. And um, after that, I could no longer, uh, let's let's call it, operate anymore. I had to be legit because we were being watched every day. And it went on for four years, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of guys went to jail. A lot of guys kept their mouths shut. A couple of guys talked. I'll get into that in the future. But um, it was it was crazy. It was the 90s. It was the streets. It was Queens in the 90s. Brooklyn in the 90s. New York City when the streets were as hot as a firecracker. And I'm telling you, a firecracker. It was bananas. But it was fun, man. We, we had a good time when we were young. Good, clean fun, you know. But um, yeah, and, and shortly after... I did, you know, try a few different things here and there. I got into the car business. And the rest is history, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to get some photos from that wedding. I got, you know, one of those things about the wedding video, me and my wife have never watched it because a lot of people are dead. It's kind of sad. You, you're kind of watching a funeral going, oh, my God. Like, it's sad. A lot of the older people, they're not with us anymore. But, hey, that's life. It was all good back in the day. Cameraman's wedding.